All right, we'll take it here. Uh, hot weather is, well, it's almost upon. It's a little cool right now. And while we love the summer, we certainly don't enjoy those massive utility bills that go along with the hot weather, do we, Frank? All sorts of things you can do to <laughs> save money. Mike Murphy is here from uh, Zero Energy Contracting. So you're going to give us some great tips, huh? You know, we're just looking at ways that we can help homeowners do something here as the summer's coming, slight changes they can do themselves. Um, so we have a few products that we brought out today just to kind of talk about that. And then there's a lot of other ways using some of the programs like Energy Upgrade California where they can make big, big changes in their energy usage. L let's start by looking at an average bill for somebody in terms of what somebody, let's say, in the Inland Empire is spending on energy during the summer months. Because you might at home think, oh, my bill is, is terrible, when that's probably average of what most people are using. Sure. I mean, the average utility bill per month in the Inland Empire is somewhere about $150 oh, a month. Oh, I'm in trouble then. <laughs> Are you above that? I think I am. Yeah. So we're going to try and lower Michaela's bill. Uh, and you brought some quick fixes. For Take us sure. through it. Well, you know, one of the things that we are really promoting is water conservation. So this is a low flow shower head. Neat thing about these two is they have thermostatic control valves on them. Yeah. Uh, a lot of us in the morning like to get up, turn the hot water on, and uh, essentially uh, walk away, go do something else. Mike, look at all this hair. Right. It takes a lot of water to get the soap out of this hair. Is Absolutely. that going to work? Is that Absolutely. still going to give us some pressure? Now, this is pressure? a lower one. It's 1.5. Okay. Anything under 2 is really good. Okay. We have a lot of the fancier ones that we're all used to, the big yeah. ones. They still are low flow. Good under man. two gallons per minute. The great thing again about the low flow is this will turn on. Um, essentially, uh, hot water comes out. As soon as the hot water hits the head, mm -hmm. it shuts off, oh. waits oh. for you. So when you get in the shower, all you got to do is pull the string and out comes hot water. Wow, that reminds me of a camping before. one. You know that yeah. camping string you have to pull cool. in? So you know you're just not wasting water down the drain. As long as it doesn't the flush the toilet. Uh, <laughs> all right, what, what's this one? Uh, of course, you've all heard about programmable thermostats. Sure. Uh, we just really promote that you should use these things. Um, they're great. You can have install them yourself or you can have your AC guy come out and do it. The great news is, is it'll save energy, especially at nighttime when you're sleeping. You don't need it on 72 all night. Right. When you're away from home, if you know, you're know you gone, it can really help save energy. So these are great okay. things to use. And not an expensive fix either. Very inexpensive. Just did this. Kind of proud of myself that did I even know where it, it was. Oh, well, Dad. Oh. oh. <laughs> Dad helped. The filter. I wouldn't know that this would lower the bill. Well, the point here is that this is the inexpensive filters. Okay. These are the two, three dollar ones you get at your home stores. Yeah. A lot of people have been like promoting trying to, you know, go with these really high efficient filters that cost ten, fifteen dollars. Uh, these are the ones you want. They don't restrict the airflow. Okay. You just want to make sure you're changing them every, you know, 30 days and ultimately use ones that are moving forward. We're running out of time, but sure. can you tell us about these? We should switch to these. Uh... You know, we all know about light bulbs. Just so you can see the differences, they do have cool CFLs. They do have cool LED lights um, that look normal and save a lot of energy. Excellent. All right. Mike Murphy has all sorts of tips for you at the Zero Energy dot com is that zero right? energy co dot com Z zero energy co dot com we've also linked that website to ours ktla dot com mike thanks for coming in and man. he's coming up at nine forty five we're actually going to talk about bigger energy upgrades so stay tuned for that we've got more to talk about there.